Diggity Dozer, Sammy Scraper, and Tyrone Truck were all moved out to one of Buildco's roadworks projects to clear and flatten the earth for the paving crew. Well, it was a beautiful day, and everything was running very smoothly. Diggity was making great progress, moving the mounds of light earth off to the side to make way for the coming road. Sammy was having lots of fun too, counting the rocks he'd gathered along the way. 25, 26, 27, tallied Sammy. He'd even decided to keep a few for his own personal collection. Even Tyrone was content. Well, almost. Slow down, hollered Tyrone. You're going much too fast for my tired old wheels. I've got an idea, said Diggity. We're making such good time clearing this section of roadway that we should have an early lunch. My pistons could use a good oiling, barked Tyrone. And my radiator is thirsting for a drink of water, offered Sam. So it was decided. The trio would find a nice spot in which to cool off and rest. Diggity and crew rumbled a little further on and came to a supply stop which had water and oil, and most importantly, breezy shade supplied by a small tree. It'll be nice to drive by here when the road is finished and be able to see this tree out the window, observed Sammy. Diggity thought about Sammy's comments for a moment. What if this tree is too close to the road, he wondered. Let me see those blueprints, Tyrone, asked Diggity. Tyrone spread the blueprints out in front of the others for them to examine. Oh no, exclaimed Diggity, his worried engine revving. It's worse than I thought. This road is going to run right into the tree. Well, there's nothing we can do about that now, grumbled Tyrone. The plans are set and the road must go through. Tyrone is right, said Sammy. It's not up to us to change the blueprints. Mr. Bolt would be very angry. But we can't just bulldoze the tree, cried Diggity. That sparrow has made its home in there. Where will it live? Diggity was afraid for the little bird. Tyrone and Sammy quickly got back to work. Diggity, however, stayed behind to find an answer. Don't worry, Diggity said to the little bird in the tree. I'll think of a way to keep you out of danger's path. That's it, Diggity shouted to his workmates. Sammy, Tyrone, I've got an idea. Why don't we put the road around the tree, asked Diggity, proud of his proposal. If we make the road curve around the tree, the paving crew won't have enough tar. Countered Tyrone. And Diggity thought a little harder. But if we angle the road away from, then back to the straight line, like this, then the paving crew will only have to use a little more tar. And the tree with the bird can stay, proclaimed Sammy. I suppose, responded Tyrone, who, being the most senior piece of equipment at the site, had to approve all machine plans. We can try it your way, Diggity. Diggity honked his horn with glee. Work could continue on the road, but most importantly, the tree and the bird would continue to live and grow, safe and untouched. <laughs>